eyes open, I create the frame. brush moves as long as I am exhaling. Now we begin to make the lines equally strong. brush for the duration of a breath. Everything is in the breath. Now, while this paint dries, I'll take a painting which is at the same stage, discuss the next step. The next step is to begin to white out portions, uh, white out those aspects of lines which uh, vary, that is to say the width uh, to clean the lines so that they're uh, the same gauge everywhere and then following that to go back with black to make sure the lines are of course of equal darkness. Our goal is to create a template into which we will look as into a cloud in order to see if there is a story that speaks to us. All of this time painting is done in association with the exhaling breath. When the breath is finished, it is time to recharge the paintbrush with white paint and to continue. In this way, move further and further away from the monkey mind that is our usual fare. Our mind opens and it becomes ever more possible to see as children see when they gaze into the clouds. We go back and forth from beginning to end between black and white. Black and white like breathing in and breathing out. We want those lines over and over and over again. After a time, we have a template which may suggest a variety of possibilities and which is done as carefully as uh, we can so that the possibilities, the possibilities of story increase at every level of cleaning 
repainting and cleaning and repainting. In this painting, I have seen uh, some sort of an animal emerging from the sun. I believe it's uh, an animal rather like a ram. Uh, and now I'm going to work on it in order to see if I can't reveal it uh, more obviously. This will involve whiting out a number of lines so that the form that remains is strong. There is, of course, a shadow of the line which has been removed so that the painting becomes like a palimpsest, which is to say that each impression remains as shadows in the background. Those shadows may show the way to the story later on. They may uh, suggest a different story because when we contemplate our paintings we contemplate them not only from this direction but from this direction from this direction and from this direction I've seen something from this direction which I find quite interesting. So I will now play with the painting from this direction. In this case, the whole form is, is uh, interconnected, and so I feel a need to break the forms up to see what the relationship between them or the possible forms up to see what the relationship between them is. So I will begin with this, releasing this character here. Now I'm beginning to have a sense of a different story, a story in which one character is moving to the left and another character perhaps shouting at him. So I'll put this aside. <coughs> Here is an example of a painting which is not quite ready for color, but very close. It's a painting that I discovered in this way. This painting is an enigma, like many of the paintings, which is to say that I'll spend a lot of time looking at this painting. Uh, before I really understand what's happening here, I'd like to know about the bird over which these two seem to be talking. So here is an example of a painting after it is painted. But in this case, this is a version of a painting, which is to say it is a painting that I have reversioned from its complete state onto a gallery wrapped canvas, which is the paintings that we will be making available for purchase.
This painting is entitled 10 Minutes Past Four. It's about 10 minutes past four. Thank you.